Welcome to my thousand subscribe special video. So, this video will be about the four movies of Shrek. We'll explore details, theories, and much more. Please enjoy. Hey now, you're an all star. Get your game on, go play. So, let's take the obvious one out. Yes, this is the same bear that Lord Farquhar has in his palace. And yes, Lord Farquhar has a, <clears throat> you know, mid time. Pinocchio is a fun, fun character. Have you ever noticed how sad he is in the background? And also, here he's in a fight with a gnome. Donkey is actually the first ever character to scare Shrek. Are you talking to me? Yes, I was talking to you. Can I just tell you that you was really great back then, man? Those gods. If Lord Farquhar had chosen Snow White, then Shrek, all he had to do it was to go back to his swamp and pick her up. And I guess the story would have ended there. Have you ever noticed? He picks up the torch, he drops him down, and he still waves. I thought in the beginning that he was going to drink the milk, not to torture gingerbread. And yes, if Lord Farquhar had led the magic mirror to talk to him, he would have known about the curse. To do is just find someone. But I probably should mention the little thing that happens at night. I'll do it. Yes, but after sunset. Silence. Yes. So yeah, about the recipe behind Fiona. Yeah, I don't know if it's for Fiona. I think it's just for the dragon to eat. But you know, everyone has his theories. I think here. They just make fun of Lord Farquhar's height, but <clears throat> I don't think it's the height, you know, the 160 height. I think it's the penis height. This way, princess. Men of Farquhar's stature are in short supply. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Shrek. There are those who think little of him. <laughs> <laughs> the second character that Strek got scared is by Fiona. I need to find somewhere to camp now! Yeah, the obvious one that's inspired by Matrix. I mean, Pinocchio has some sick dance moves. My theory for why Priest Charming didn't came earlier to save Fiona. It's just my theory, so that's just out of my hand, it's not official or anything. I'm absolutely sure he knew, he absolutely knew that a dragon was keeping Fiona safe in the palace. So after Shrek saved Fiona, Priest Charming probably heard from somewhere that, that the dragon isn't anymore there. That's his chance to save Fiona and be the the ultimate dreaming prince because obviously before he will hear that everybody who went there are dead and blah 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 that stuff so he obviously was scared and that stuff so after he learned i guess from somewhere that the dragon is gone he got there to save fiona but he was surprised by the wolf who was reading <clears throat> A Lord of the Rings reference and a Little Mermaid reference. By the way, Kyle is one of the best characters ever. Let's go, Kyle. How you would have realized that Prince Harold was the Prince Frog? So, we can see from his bedroom that this is a reminder of a. Uh, how is it called? Bog and Pond, I guess. Those stuff, yeah. And I guess in his youth era, he had some fun. Excuse me. Hey, do I know you? Uh, no, you must be mistaking me for someone else. Huh? Prince Harold? Hmm? You had some fun, huh? So, this is obvious, but I wanna say it. Priest Charming was going to save Fiona from the dragon so Priest Charming can be the king and live happily ever after but we got Shrek in the picture who broke the curse and Priest Charming got nothing his whole life had a, had a mother who 
always was saying to him, yeah, you're gonna be a king, you're gonna be the best, you're gonna be that and this. And in the end, it didn't happen, so he got a little bit crazy. A Zoro reference and an alien reference. If you see closely in the background, you will see that this man has fallen to his death. His shirt is just fine now. Again Pinocchio with some sick moves. I got some sleep and I needed it. Not a lot, just a So here we see Priest Charming going off a very very dark path, wanted more and more with what they promised him. I don't think he deserved to die, I think he deserved a good punch in the face and get in jail or something. It wasn't really good for him to die because, let's be honest, he was a funny character. So yeah, obviously Prince Charming is dead, right? right? So. If you see Thriller Night, you will see Priest Charming, I guess resting place, I don't know, I don't remember English. So yeah, but you will see that the Shrek had a dream, but in the background you see Priest Charming being just fine. So he's not really dead. Now you'll say, yeah, but we saw the other characters too. Yeah, we saw Prince Farquhar, we saw the fairy godmother, but when Shrek wake up, we don't see the other characters, we see only Prince Charming, so I guess he survived? Huh? <laughs> and yes, in the Shrek 4, that means that they are in the bad neighborhood. In the Shrek 4, we never see Arthur again, he's nowhere to be found. So, in Google says that Arthur is neither seen or mentioned once in the film, for unknown reasons. They say he was on a quest for the Holy Grail. He didn't have time to be around, so I guess it would be cool like in the DVDs to have some extra adventures with Arthur and stuff. Yes, Rob Bellinstinci, he's all the previous villains in one character, that's obvious, many have said that, so it's nothing new. So, when Strek signed the contract to give a day to Rob Bellinstinci, you see an alternative timeline where Strek was never born and Fiona was saved by herself. But hold up, we have a problem here. First of all, where was Lord Farquhar? I guess he was scared from Robelstinsky, I guess. But okay, then where was Prince Charming and the fairy godmother? I guess uh, that's just my theory, I'm not sure. Again, <laughs> they are just up on my head because I have watched this movie so many times with my family and Jesus Christ and I guess because King Harold and Queen Lillian have signed the contract to give the far far away kingdom to Rabelstinsky I guess Priest Charming and the Fairy Godmother wasn't interested anymore in the kingdom but that doesn't make either sense because Priest Charming will fight Rabelstinsky for the kingdom, yeah? Or he killed him, something like that, I don't know. What's your opinion about that? Tell me. So yeah, I left many details out and many references out because they were so obvious that it had no point mentioning them. But yeah, that was the video, please if you want leave a like and subscribe and please if you want share the video so I can hear more and more opinions about the Shrek movies. That, see ya! Mm -hmm.